wind, rain, thunderstorms, and hail. That was on the menu for Saturday. Damage for some homeowners tonight as severe weather hit all across West Michigan. The hail that fell as big as tennis balls in Paddle Creek tonight. We have team coverage, including a live report, and we'll get to that in just a moment. But we want to start in the Weather Center with meteorologist Elena Nearing. Hi, Elena. Hi, Nina. Thankfully, the severe weather threat in West Michigan has come to an end. And not only are we seeing that rain travel eastward, we're going to be getting a break over the next few days. We got some awesome pictures and video. Thank you so much to all of our viewers submitting photos and reports on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. It makes a difference and it really is important for verification for severe weather purposes for our forecasts as we look forward to coming storms in the next round of severe weather that we will deal with. This photo taken in downtown Grand Rapids, an incredible looking structure for a shelf cloud and a lot of photos coming in, videos too, really good stuff. Satellite and radar showing the storms racing across all of West Michigan. Main impacts were along and south of I-96. This is the satellite and radar looping from five hours ago up to the present time. And you can see all that rain now on the east side of the state. Talk about severe weather reports. We had damaging hail, strong winds. You can see the bulk of the reports followed my arrow on the screen indicated around here just south of Grand Rapids where we had some strong winds and also very large hail. We'll take a look at a couple of those reports coming out of the Battle Creek area. We saw a half dollar size hail around Brownlee Park. That's in Calhoun County, and we did have warnings with verbiage closer to tennis ball sized hail. That is probably the largest hail that I've ever forecasted for in my 10 year career. As far as rainfall amounts, None of these numbers have updated fully. We'll wait until tomorrow to get the exact totals, but you can see certain areas got over an inch of rain. And with that reason, flood alerts are still in effect for portions of the lower peninsula, and we'll be monitoring that threat for flooding over the next couple of days. Thankfully, the rain has moved eastward. We'll be left with more dry conditions and noticeably cooler for the rest of tonight and continuing into the next couple of days. One more day of rain in the forecast will tell you when to expect it coming up. 